Never allow anyone to remove anything from your head. Oh, my dear. Oh, this hair is so beautiful. Oh, there's something there. Let me just remove it. You thought that it's removing something. You have already removed one hair from your head without you knowing it. It's very, very dangerous. It brings down fault to a man. Hello. Welcome to our channel. Hello, my spiritual family. Hope everyone is doing well. Today is another awesome day that the universe, the almighty God, the source, the maker of heaven and earth has given to us to be in the land of the living. The, re the reason why we are still here is because the mission why they sent us here is not yet being accomplished. Immediately we accomplish that mission, off we go to meet our ancestors, the universe. So thank you for coming by. It's another day that we are privileged to be alive. Life is sweet and it's also bitter. Everybody know that one. Hot, cold, everything without hot and cold, bitter and sweet, it will balance. That is why they say life is not balanced. You see so many people, they have a lot, a lot of things, but that's something, maybe they, have, they are rich, they are stinkingly rich, but there is no child. They have done everything, no child. But look at that poor, poor family. They have seven children, seven boys, but no, no money to send them to school. Telling your life is not balanced. And everybody is here to fulfill a mission. So today, I'm going to teach and discuss and tell you Tell you guys some of the things that we do that can bring setback in our life and destroy our sources. Those things we did all by ourselves without anybody forcing us to do it, not knowing is bringing down. It's all those things brings down for in our life, destroy our sources. What we have been struggling and the uh, and the and the working hard every day, making money, a twinkle of an eye, everything disappeared. So we're going to discuss five things. Because I don't want this video to be long. Only five things. Then in my next video, I will complete another one. First, accepting good sold to someone and refunding the money. You accept the good you have already sold to somebody and you accept the money. It brings down fall. Any goods made that there is policy and rules in, in every market, in everywhere, more anywhere you're doing a, a, a buying and selling exchange. When somebody returns something, you do what? The policy is you accept the refund and send the money back because maybe it's not satisfied with the product. The issue now, the main problem now is that please do not refund that produce, that goods back to your shelf or back to your store. No. It brings down fall because you never know what the person has used that thing to do and is bringing it back to you. And you don't even know, so, okay, 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 I will give you your money back. You can't give the money back and you put that, that the, the clothes or anything, the goods or the produce back to your shop or to your store. No, 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 please don't do it. Send it back to donation center. Maybe give it as a charity, but don't put it back to your store again. Don't, it brings what? Down for It destroys your sources. That is number one. Many people have been doing it without knowing, thinking that, oh, I don't want problem. I don't want problem. Hell, okay, take your money and give me my, 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 my produce or my goods back. And you put it back. Before you know what is going on, all your everything starts collapsing. So that is number one. Then number two is, please, you should stop borrowing clothes to go for a cushion or borrowing your clothes to someone. You might be the one that has a good heart. You love people. You love to give. Oh, please, can I have that your clothes you wore that on that wedding day? I want to use it for another occasion. Oh, have it. No, please. If that will make you to be a bad person, it doesn't really matter. Be that person and save your own life. Don't borrow your clothes to somebody. Or borrow clothes from somebody to do what? To go for any occasion. Be contented with whatever you have. If you don't have clothes for that occasion, call off the occasion. If you have any time you have money or clothes to go, go the one that is available. Go to never ends in this life. So please, that is another thing that brings it back in our life. Because you don't know what the person has done to the clothes that you borrowed and wore the occasion. Or the one you borrowed somebody, what they have done. The, to your clothes before returning it. After that, some people might fall sick. Before you know what is going on, it's dead. Nobody knows that he put those clothes to someone. That is another another one. Avoid it. Please, please, and please avoid it. And another one is please stop watching yourself whenever you see a mirror. Please, uh, um, um, not offense. 
especially women. We like ourselves. We like to admire ourselves. We want to know whether that our hair is still in the same shape. Our lipstick, our makeup that stay intact. Is it uh, uh, oily? Is it dry now? You see yourself while walking on the street. You see a car. You look at the car. You see the standing mirror. You see the even the door door mirror. You see the window mirror. You check. It. No, there is a spirit in those things. Immediately you watch yourself. Those spirits will attract your you attract your spirit. And before you know what is going on, it start, it start causing problem in your life. It start what? Causing problem in your life. So please and please and please stop watching yourself. Stop that habit of watching yourself whenever you see mirror. Start watching yourself. That's a, a spirit there. So you connect to your own spirit. In the night, start having some nice things and bad dreams. And again and again and again, please stop borrowing mirror. Oh, I don't have my mirror in my bag. Please, can I use that mirror? Immediately you use that mirror. You have already connected your spirit, your energy to that mirror. If it is a bad spirit, you can use just glance of two seconds to see your makeup or anything. Can They can use it to destroy you or harm your life. So please stop borrowing mirror. Ha mirror. Have your own mirror in your bag. Have your own mirror in your bag. It's better just look, put it in your bag. If you forget mirror for that day, forget about it. That is the way the spirit want wanted to work that day. Forget about looking at yourself. You're already beautiful. Whether makeup or no makeup, somebody that loves you will already love you. So please and please and please. This one goes for women especially. That is fond of mirror, 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 mirror. So another one we are going to talk now is what? Please never give your bathing soap to someone. You are clipper. You are using to cut your hair to someone. It brings what? It brings down fall. If someone begs you soap, make sure it's a new soap. Not the one you have already used to shower. If it is new soap, if you beg you soap, oh, in maybe in the yeah, please, uh, my soap are finished. Give him your soap that is still in the box. Direct. Okay, take and have it. Don't give me back. Don't give somebody the one you've already used to shower your shower because they can use it to harm you. It brings down fall. It destroys your sources. So please, their clippers, men, don't give their clipper to anyone. Even that, just just by washing it, washing it, they, they, they using something to brush the clipper. Just any small thing that come out, they can use it to do some things. So those things we are doing by ourselves without knowing, they bring hindrances and set back and destroy our sources. Because if someone has gotten the, your hair, what else? They can use it to do some rituals. And they, before I know what is going on, business is collapsing. Maybe that, not, that does not mean that you will die. But before I know what is going on, from up, you're already down. You start begging food. You start wondering what's going on. Not knowing that it's your goodness of giving your friend your clipper, your clipper to cut their own hair that brought all those down for, for your life and, and, and destroy your sources. So that is another thing that we should, that, so all those things that we do by ourselves that always bring problems to our own life. And another one is never allow anyone to remove anything from your head. Oh my dear, your hair is so beautiful. I like it. Where do you make this hair? Can I have the address? Oh, it starts touching this. Oh, there's something in your hair. Can I remove it? He said, please don't remove anything. Because sometimes they remove, you just feel that, oh, you show you something, another thing in their hand. Not knowing that your hair is already in their hand. Never allow anybody to do what? To remove anything from your head or head of your child. Oh, this hair is so beautiful. What is that white thing? I uh, are thinking that it's moving white thing. And it's putting another thing all together. Before you know what's going on, that your child that is so brilliant. Everything will turn upside down. He will not want to go to school again. He will be disobedient. He will be, he will be an, uh, 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 the child will turn immediately. Why? Because of just, you don't even know what is in their hand. Before they talk, they touch the head of your uh, 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 child or children. So, my dear, that is for now. I will bring more. And for all these things for work for us, keep your hand upright. Love your neighbors. You love yourself. Pray for them. Anybody want that want to, anybody that is praying evil to you, let that evil return to them. As you are praying, pray for the. Uh, north, south, west, east, everything anybody is asking the universe to do for them that is good, let it come to fulfillment in their life. Anything they're praying that is bad to harm anybody, let it return to their, uh, let it return to them in hundred folds. That is it. Whatever they do to harm you will never come your way. As far as you put your hand, you, are, you keep your hand upright. You don't have grudges, bitterness, anger, jealousy. 
against anybody. When it is your turn, you must surely, you must surely do what? Shine. But before then, take precaution of your own life. Safeguard your own life. If you didn't safeguard your own life, nobody will safeguard their life for you. That is it. That is what is in this life. Thank you for coming by. And please, if this my video resonates with you, share, comment, subscribe, and the, come back for other videos. Thank you so much for coming by and uh, I wish you all the best in this life. And remember that whatever we are earning for this life at the right at the, at the right time it must surely come to us. We might do some ritual, it's not working, say, oh it don't work, it doesn't doesn't work. It's just because it's not yet time. When it is time, it must surely come to fulfillment. As you see me here, I waited for something like five years. That time I was praying, fasting, not knowing that it's not yet time for me to travel and meet my husband where I supposed to meet when it was right time when I have stayed for five years it, and it was time for me to go everything mature so God's time is the best stay safe and remain blessed thank you so much bye